Hi guys, welcome to another JavaScript programming tutorial. Um, yeah, so we learned a little bit about strings um, a couple episodes ago or something like that. So there's um, things we can do with strings, just like we can do with numbers, some kind of methods, function. A method is a function, so yeah, so there's some stuff we can do, basically. So what we're going to need is some, some, is some values, so const um, fruit equals grape const other fruit equals orange grapes suck okay so yeah that's that and um so we're going to combine this with a some fruits equals fruit plus other fruit and if you print that out console.log some fruits then we get grape orange together so if, let's say we want to make it look more neat and stuff there's a way we can do that it's called it's called kid concatenation it's where we put a little space we can add some string in the middle or, sure, or anywhere actually you can add one back here if you want to and there you go so you just plus and then put whatever you want inside the double quotes or single quotes and then plus it again there you go so now we have grape orange which is pretty cool and there's another way of doing this if you could just append some stuff so um, we're just going to override this each time so don't worry about removing it if you are lazy like me um, so to append something we could do slash slash appended comment I spelled append wrong alright so let some well let's do a new value so something easier so let value equal and so we have our original value of fruit We can say val plus plus equals other fruit. So we just append it on there or add it. This is another way of saying this. It's the same thing. So if you just do that, see, we get grape orange. And uh, yeah. Oh, we're putting the wrong thing. Oops. Yeah, that made sense. So now there's not going to be a space in between because we're just adding it. So, yeah. So if you want to add a whole bunch of lines of crap, we could do val equals here is one fruit. Leave a space so you have a space. I'll show you why you push. I'll show you why you should put a space right here in a second. And you could say uh, space and here is my other fruit. Okay, so yeah, that looks good. Here's one fruit, grape, and here's my other fruit, orange. So the reason we put a space here is because we're adding something else behind it. So, you know, in English class, you should know you don't just <laughs> leave everything jumbled together. It's pretty simple. So, yeah, just leave a space if you want to and make it look more neat. And uh, yeah, so that's how you do that. Pretty cool. And um, yeah, so there's another thing we could do. So let's say you want to be grammatically correct and you want to have something like instead of just can't without the proper apostrophe right there you can't really do that because a lot of people don't even use double quotes they use single quotes so obviously as you can tell there's an error here because you have a you have the opening quote and it it doesn't know which one's the closing quote so they're conflicting so one way you could easily just fix this is by using double quotes like I do so you don't ever have to worry about this so now it just prints out can't or you can be you know savage and just put a slash in, in front of it oops wrong slash it needs to be the other type of slash where is it a backward slash and yeah so that it's called escaping and this lets you use single quotes no matter what if as long as you have a backslash in front of your single quote so that's pretty cool so can't don't and obviously there'll be an error here so just put a backslash in front of it so pretty cool um and if you don't know where the backslash is it's above the enter key just right above it so yeah so um we've already done this but i'm gonna show you again if we have fruit oh val equals fruit dot length this will tell us the length of the fruit 
just five letters, so G R A P E is five letters in total or characters. And there you go. Um so yeah, there's one more like kind of weird way to concatenate something. It's with a method called concat. And uh, we do it like this. So fruit dot concat. And then we put in what we want to have like concatenated like in between or something like that. Oops. Like whatever we want to add. So you just separate, separate what you want to add by commas. So and then other fruit. So we print that out, we get grape orange. And we can say test. So we can add multiple items, as many as we want, as long as we separate it by a comma, which is pretty cool. So yeah, obviously there's an error because we don't have anything named that as a valuable, I mean variable. So I just put it in quotes. Pretty cool. So yeah, that's how you do that. Um, so it's just an easier way of concatenating if you want to do that. Um, Oh, so another function we could use, or method, that same thing, is if you want to make everything uppercase, you could do something like that. Two uppercase, pretty simple. Fruit dot two uppercase. In the parentheses, that's when you're using methods. See, this one is almost the same thing, except it doesn't have a parentheses. This is a property, not a method. So that's why it says property here. And the parentheses is, for some methods, you got to pass in some values, which we'll learn about later. So don't worry about that, but always have a parentheses behind a method or yeah so I mean of course we can also do lowercase to lowercase and then everything's printed out lowercase so that's interesting um, okay so you can also think of a string basically like an array so each letter is an, um, one of the things in the array so zero one two, three, four. So yeah, remember it starts from zero in an array and we can think of this as an array. So let's say if we want to print, print out uh, R, that would be one. So we could do fruit one and we get R. So keep that in mind. And so if we do something called uh, index of so value equals fruit dot index of and then inside here we put the letter that we want to find a for example and it should return two because um, it's as an array basically zero one two and it returns where it is so we can search for anything a p or if we put a letter then that's not in there or anything and it'll return negative one so yeah so that's pretty useful um, let's think here so if we want to use um, character at this will do basically the opposite you can put in the number and it'll tell you what character it is pretty cool um, yeah so another thing we could do equals fruit dot substring which you can turn it and make it the string shorter so um, if you want it to be like uh, a through e so just those so it'd be two through four so two and four and now it'll print out that oops I seem to have done that wrong let's see Zero, one, two, three, four. That's weird. I guess we ought to go one higher. Not sure why, but yeah. But you get the point. And uh, likewise, we can do something called slice fruit. We'll do other fruit just to mix it up. Other fruit dot slice. So zero, five will do the same thing, basically. So I'll just cut out everything else. So also we can make an array with the split method. So value equals other fruit dot split. And then in here we gotta we gotta choose what we're gonna split everything at. So we're gonna have to make a 
multiple line thingy. So let's say we have a bunch of things that are separated by commas. And uh, let's say we want to make everything separated by commas into its own object in an in inside of an array. So by, by doing that, to do that, we could put like that. So now if we open this up, oh wait, I did that wrong. I put the wrong thingy. Fruit. So now we get that everything. So everything separated by, separated by a comma will be made into the array. So likewise, if we if we have a space instead of a commas here, it'll use that. But we don't have that, so it doesn't really work. But yeah, it can be anything literally. Um, it could be like the letter two or number two, excuse me. So make sure it stays as a string though, because this is a string. So everything between two will be made into the array. Pretty dang cool. Um, so yeah. Also, we can replace certain letters or number. I mean, uh, uh things in the string. So fruit dot replace and we got to put um, the original thing that we want to replace so grape and we'll replace that with ew grapes so now we get ew grapes let's get rid of this why is it doing that uh, oops. That's why I gotta fix it up. So now grape will be replaced with you grapes. Pretty cool. I keep saying pretty cool. I don't know why, but yeah. Um. <laughs> so we can also return a, a boolean value. Remember, boolean is true or false. So fruit dot includes, and then we put in what we want to search for. So uh, ape again, we can search for that and then it returns true because we know that grape has the word ape inside of it or anything, just even the letter E would work. Pretty simple. And then, uh, so orange would be false because there's no orange here, it's in the other one. So, likewise, if we just change this to other fruit, that'll be true. Okay, so yeah, that's how you do, um, some methods and properties inside of strings and uh, pretty cool. I uh, can find, I can definitely think of some uses for this. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed everybody. Uh, leave a like if you liked it, leave a comment if you need help. I'll definitely respond and uh, see you next time. Subscribe.